Hello Gemini viewers. Sorry for the delay. This video might be a little bit shorter than my usual videos, but I will be back to my normal schedule on the 15th. As always, I can do a private reading for you guys if you want. And just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. That email is right below in the description box below this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if it resonates. And any donations are appreciated too. My donation links are also below. Let's see what's going on. I'm thinking about what you said. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. Hmm. I regret what I, I regret what I said to you. So it kind of seems like maybe there was an argument here. Or there's some kind of maybe like an ultimatum was was given here is what I'm getting because it says they're thinking about what you said and they also regret something that they said to you. They're intentionally telepathically communicating with you. They're trying to manifest your reunion. So I feel like I don't know if they're necessarily meditating on you, but I just feel like they're thinking about you a lot. Like they're trying to um, they're trying to think of ways to win you back is the energy that I'm getting. There's someone new coming into your life. I really feel like there was some kind of argument here or some kind of ultimatum or something that was given. Sometimes I cry over you. I'm trying to get my life together so I can come back to you with a stable love offer. I feel like this person might have had anger issues or they might have snapped. Part of me just wants to come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere I know that you'd be. I just get the energy of guilt. So I feel like maybe this person snapped on you. Maybe they said something they didn't mean. Maybe they pushed you away. We're kind of cold and distant with you. And it's like they're wanting to win you back. But they're just... I just get like a lot of guilt kind of energy here. That they just have a lot of regret and a lot of guilt. And I feel like that's, you know, partially why they want to come just knock on your door or intentionally bump into you somewhere. You know, I, I feel like they're afraid that if they called you or if they tried to talk to you in some indirect way that, you know, you might just shut them down. They want to be able to talk face to face. They want you to, they want to read your body language. They want to see your facial reactions and vice versa. They want you to know that they're genuine. Um... I feel like this is someone that has anger or they just, they say things they don't mean or they get cold and kind of detached. So you might want to manifest this new person instead. I'm not so sure that you're going to want this. I've been fantasizing about you sexually. I feel like this might also be someone that knows about energy work or they know about the law of attraction, you know, manifestation. I feel like this is someone that has that like, they're learning about that if they don't know about it already is what I'm getting here. I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. My guides constantly remind me of you. I can't escape the synchronicities. Your name comes up in conversation. This could be mutual friends also reminding them of you. I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. I feel like this is like, I feel like this, I don't know why I'm getting that this person could be a musician. At this time, it's best for me to, to wait for me to reach out first. I have a bad habit of taking you for granted. This just seems like someone who's emotionally immature and kind of unstable. Seems like could it could be someone that's dealing with some kind of mental illness or mental instability. I just feel like this person is just too hot and cold. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm not liking this energy. I'm seeing the initial M as well for some. I just, I don't, I don't know about this energy. <laughs> I don't know about this energy at all. This person, I just get like almost like a manipulative vibe. Like they want what they want in the moment, but I don't know how trustworthy that is. You know, it just seems, I just get like anger. I get that there's another side to this person. There's, there's a lot going on behind the surface. So I'm not so sure that you're going to want this back. 
And I feel like there was some kind of argument or some kind of miscommunication between you guys. And I feel like they're regretting something that they said. I feel like maybe they pushed you away and they said some harsh things. Or they just kind of like ghosted you. And I feel like they're just, they're really regretting what they said to you. They might have said something really harsh. Um, like in the moment, I'm kind of getting that this person is just not mature or stable enough to be consistent with their feelings. So it's almost like they feel things very strongly in the moment. So it's like if you're if you're fighting with this person or if you're bothering this person or if they're interested in someone else or if they have a lot on their plate, they might snap on you and be like, screw you, I don't care about you, I'm done with you or, you know, like just push you away, just be distant and cold with you when they have a lot going on. This person does not ma manage stress very well. But then it's like when they do you want when they do want you, it's like they're they're loving and emotional and, you know, they they miss you and yada yada. It just seems like this person is almost like like a bipolar energy almost. Like they're so, they're just all over the place. So I don't think that you can really trust this. I feel like this is too much of emotion, an emotional roller coaster for you. I want to ask you out, but I'm afraid you'll say no. That would be awkward. Yeah, there's a lot of guilt. I feel like they must have they must have done something pretty bad. Like they must have cheated or argued with you or did something like borderline abusive. I don't know what it was, but. It just feels like there's so much guilt and like regret and so much like awkwardness where they feel like they feel like you have good reason to be mad. They feel like you would get pissed off at them if they tried to call you like you might tell them off or something like maybe maybe the last conversation you guys had was not so pleasant. Um, that's why they kind of just want to bump into you. Some of them are trying to bump into you because they just feel like, you know, you wouldn't really... Um, you wouldn't really like tolerate you wouldn't tolerate this again. So, so yeah, some of them are trying to, some of them are thinking about coming to your door or they're wanting to bump into you. They're, they're wanting that face to face interaction so that they can really read your body language. I feel like they're manipulative though. Cause I feel like they kind of want to, it's like, they know that if they could talk to you in person, the conversation would be emotional. You wouldn't be able to just hang up on them. You wouldn't be able to be strong and keep moving on from this, you know? Like if they could see you in person, it's like almost like they feel like they could break you down. Like they could, they, they feel like they could win you back over if they could just see you in person. They could say and do the right things. They could present the right image and you would break down. It's like I see them wanting to make you cry, but like in an emotional romantic way, like they want to, they want to break you down. They want you to be vulnerable and open up to them. They want this second chance. Honestly, I don't like this energy. I personally wouldn't do it. Um... That's just what I'm feeling. I, if I were you, I'd probably want to manifest someone new. But, you know, this is just kind of like a warning. And this could be a warning about someone that was, you know, a stalker or someone else. You know what I mean? Like, this could just be like like saying, hey, like, watch your back. This person might be thinking about coming over and knocking on your door. This person might be trying to go to, like, the gym or the grocery stores or the, or the bars or clubs or places that you hang out at. Um, yoga studios, wherever it might be, like some of them might just be, um, like they, they want that face to face conversation. So for if, if you're in this energy group, that's just something to watch out for. It's, it's up to you what you do with that. Personally, I would not want to go back to that. So, um, keep protecting yourself, keep moving forward, be strong. And if you want, you know, manifest someone new. So anyway, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. I can go into what this person is feeling. I can go into a new person. It's whatever you want to know about. Um, so yeah, that email is right below in the description box below this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. See you guys later.